Dude, I'm looking at the new Conqueror, and this is so blatantly better on ranged champions, it's hilarious. Dude, you're going to see melee champions completely fall off the fucking planet. Holy shit. So, at max rank, it's 45 damage. Conqueror gives, what, 36 or something? 35. So you're getting a little bit more damage. You're losing a chunk of true damage. You're gaining some healing, which will instantly be reduced, mind you. But it's gonna take an exceptionally Surpass long time to stack up. Of your form. Think of DH264. In other words, this is a very large nerf to Conqueror. Yeah, it, it seems certain champions will be blatantly favored, while certain champions... Okay, here's the thing. Everyone can take the new Conqueror. It's not just Bruisers anymore. It'll be Jace, it'll be Cassiopeia, it'll be Azir. I see you. I see those Conqueror changes and I think to myself, just how far down the win rate lung are like all the Bruisers gonna fall. Like, the way they describe it, it, at first they were like, okay, five hits. I'm like, five hits, okay, so... Cled Q, hit twice, E hit twice, maybe I can proc up my Conqueror before my fourth E. Or sorry, my fourth W. But then they're like, no, 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 each ability can only proc it once. Each auto attack can only proc it once. And I got all these people like jerking their dick off, like, oh, Jack's gonna proc it in like one second. And I'm like, okay, so Jax hits you with Q, hits you with Counter Strike, auto, 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 procs Conqueror. So his ultimate needs to proc before he even gets Conqueror. In other words, all these champions just got massively fucking nerfed in return for allowing Cassiopeia to go conquer. Really makes me think. I suspect with all the nerfs Jack saw, with all the buffs tanks have seen, that Conquer is gonna go, or so I should say, Bruisers already as is are low win rate. Like when you look at Bruisers compared to other champions, they have amongst the lowest win rates in the game right now. Like, let me look up Jax. Jax, 49%. Uh, Riven, 49%. Irelia, 47%. Renekton, 47%. Aatrox, 43%. Once you nerf Conqueror, and once you buff up the champions that can now use Conqueror against you, well then, we're gonna see Conqueror Kale. We're gonna see Conqueror Cassiopeia, Conqueror Victor, Conqueror Rumble. But that's the thing, Fervor of Battle was actually low-key pretty bad. I feel like sometimes I'm taking crazy pills, because when I look at some of these people and they're like, Oh, they're returning Fervor of Battle, everything will be fixed again. And I'm just like, Bruisers weren't viable with Fervor of Battle. I mean, that, that seriously is the thing that like blows my mind. People don't realize Fervor wasn't viable. No one played Bruisers competitively. It was all tanks. It was only after Conqueror got added. Of course it'll still be good yeah, on Jax. It's still his only option. And after they promptly nerf it 15 times because it's being abused on shit like Cassiopeia, Riot will go, Oh, never mind. Conquer on literally every mage in the game. It's probably the most free thing Riot has ever done for mages. No mage will go conk bod. Okay, yeah, you're so much smarter than me. Please go subscribe to another streamer. Cause you're you're way too intelligent for me. The best thing is that not only will Conqueror not be able to be used into Urgot, but Urgot will now use Conqueror against you. Oh, that's bad. Lee amazing. Bad Lee amazing is what I meant. I don't know what killed him to be honest, but. You know what, God? I'm glad you were there for me. Why did I do no damage to the master? Oh, because red smite, right. I feel like if this Quinn was literally anyone who wasn't a goddamn fucking idiot, this game would be over. If he had done anything other than play a shitty jungler, this game would be going very differently. Like, he's had so much free time to do shit while I try to deal with Master Yi. You think he gets level 6 here in the middle of this fight? Ah, fuck me. And there's Master Yi, top again. 
for like the ninth time. Conquer in its current state on PvE will be so hard abused by ranged champions it won't even be funny. I, I legitimately believe top will turn into conquer a range versus conquer a range and the entire meta will start depending on whether or not you can counter pick the conquer Cassiopeia top. This entire game has been nothing but ganks on me while I proceed to get no support from any of my teammates. Victor does Q, auto, E. He's already up to three stacks. Ult is four stacks. Auto attack is one more stack. Boom, you've got five stacks as Victor. Seriously? Wait, you guys do realize the stacks don't like fall off one at a time, right? You don't need to be proccing it five times every three seconds. D do you guys get that or like... I feel like there seems to be a huge misconception here. If you proc it, you proc it. You don't need to like re-proc it. So if Victor procs it up, then continues to auto attack you one time every three seconds, he'll keep it up the whole time. There seems to be a very large misconception here. You guys realize it refreshes by as simple a thing as a dot, right? Like, like a flask dot. A corrupting flask dot will refresh it. I feel like you guys are truly not really grasping this rune. Like, I, I feel like for some reason this rune is like blowing your minds right now. And I'm not sure why. You guys are like, but duh, 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 that falls off after three seconds. No, it doesn't. But duh, but, but it, it, but I don't, it, it falls off. No, it doesn't. But did, but did, that falls off. No, it doesn't. Die. The, the, the fall, the fall off, the damage, fall off. No, it doesn't. Die. Like the cogs in your brain are just like unable to like accept this reality. I should have ignited him. Oh well. Wait, what did my W get used on then? Well, that kind of sucked. The fact that Polymorph to this day is still a two and a half second targeted stun. Wait, she had ult though. We're actually gonna lose this game off this Quinn jungle. She was Quinn it to win it. For the opposing team. Out. I guess Renekton really fell off there in the late game. When you play Quinn Jungle and your name is Unlucky Laners, it really makes you think they're good shit. This LP system is actually kind of absurd.
Yeah, I think I'm just gonna play more Apex Legends. This is actually just unfair. Like, I'm gaining 14 LP for a win, I'm losing 19 on a loss. And these aren't games that are like gimmies, you know? These are games that are actually quite difficult, in fact. They say that there's like an MMR issue, but I feel like everyone... Like, I, I don't know. This just doesn't feel right, and it feels like they're gonna reset it on Friday anyway, and playing right now is just gonna lose LP. I don't think they're gonna reset it. I think that they're gonna adjust the LP gains again because this just doesn't seem very fair. I can understand having a 50% win rate keeping you at like diamond four, but after you're in, like the thing is everyone is playing equal games, games that are equal, right? But these don't seem, I mean, I, I should maybe ask people.